For the next 50 hours, I'm going to be doing as many extreme sports as I can. Oh, I believe that. A challenge that will see me go entirely outside of my comfort zone. Thank you! Because today we're not going to be recording any videos in this office. Instead, we're going to be touching... <laughs> but that's not all that we're doing because this challenge is going to take me around the world to join up with some of the best athletes in their field. I'm on my way to Adelaide to see Matt Hall. So what does Matt Hall do? Well, he does a little bit of this little bit of that and, and whatever that is. I, I think we might be doing that today as well. Just as we were arriving, I caught a glimpse in the sky of what I was in for. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it's actually setting in now. I'm actually like I'm actually freaking out. What are we doing here today? We're gonna uh, show you a bit of air racing down at 8G. We're gonna tumble the plane end over end with G-force. What determines if someone's good at G is how tall they are. Yeah. The taller they are, the worse they are at it. Now for context, what we experience on the ground is 1G. A rebel airplane can endure a maximum of 10 Gs. I'm gonna try to go to 8, wish me luck. I'm working against it, but we're gonna get it done. Technically my second flight, I begin. What's this on my left here, these orange things? The canopy, if you squeeze them, the canopy will open in a flight and decapitate us, so don't touch them either. Yeah, yep. You ready? Ready to roll. Let's do it. Oh uh, no, there she's accelerating. We're gonna put some smoke on for this one, you ready? Yep. Smoke on, rolling up. Uh, Woo! Oh, this is sick! Okay, so how many G's was that pull up? Two and a half. Okay. Gonna go uh, start doing a few steep turns, okay, where you're gonna get used to pulling a little bit of G. Two G's on the left, there's no straining required. That's just where you feel a bit heavy. So no problem at all, huh? This is 3G, this is where your skin stretches, but there's no straining needed, so you're feeling that, but it's yeah, heavy. Oh yeah, that's a bit heavy, eh? Hey? Okay. Next one I'm gonna do is gonna be 4G, okay? okay count me down. Take a big breath. And squeeze. Looking along the horizon like you're riding a motorbike. Keep skidding, keep skidding, and we're out. How's that? Woo! No, no, I feel good. So look at your right shoulder. Oh my god! <laughs> We've been to 5G already. You happy to try 6? By the way, when F1 cars hit corners in a race, the driver experiences 6 G forces. Call me Max for stopping. Yeah. So ready, set, go over here, and we go chicane. One, two, knife edge, skate. And then. Now, big breath, squeeze, 6G, there we are, around the corner, big squeeze, and now relax, down the hill, are you doing all right? Yeah. There you go, one lap of Red Bull Air Race, how was that? Oh. And you were straining the whole time, which also wears you out. Yes. I heard you straining when you shouldn't have been straining. Yeah. You were, you were cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right, how are you feeling? Yeah, great. So you're happy to go in and try an 8G turn? Yeah. Uh, sure. Gotta pick up some energy. Down the hill we go. That one took it out of me. But I came here for HGs. Yep, just tell me one. I uh, shall. Big breath and squeeze. And we're out. Oh! How is that? Oh, I'm losing it. On the limit. Yeah, I lost it. I'm back though. I'm back though. Holy sh! I'm in a plane. We're upright, flying. <laughs> did you just lose your vision or did you pass out? No, I definitely passed out for a half sec. But I'm good. I'm back. I'm back. Good job, man. Good recovery. Yeah, all we're going to do is pull up and do a, uh, a bit of a tumble, okay? Up we go. Oh, he's at the front. There's no genius one, so just relax. Here we go. Holy sh... Boom! Oh. Oh. Is it over? It's over, man. Oh. Hard to land. I passed out at AG. <laughs> I told you AG was hard work. Oh, AG. <laughs> I woke up in a plane. <laughs> we still got three more left to do. Starting out on such a high, I still wasn't ready for the next extreme sport. After the plane ride, it felt like I'd run a marathon. I need to chill. We gotta hop on a flight in like another hour or two. When you pass out from G-forces, your brain kind of has to restart itself. Like a computer. I feel drunk. <laughs> like, I actually feel drunk. But fuck it, we ball. On way to LA. Technically, flight number three. We've got 32 hours left of this challenge, and most of it was spent on the plane ride because now we're in LA. Today is the day I jump out of a plane for the first time ever. Now, I'm doing it with the Red Bull Air Force. So, if I'm going to jump out of a plane with anybody, I want to do it with them. Really just hoping today Glider Redeploy doesn't bug or uh, it ain't going to look good. Today, I'm skydiving with Sean and Amy. Anything you can think of doing in the sky, they've done it before. But have they played a game of rock, paper, scissors while falling from the sky with the guy from Fortnite? Here's my chance for a victory royale. We will be playing rock, <laughs> paper, scissors today. But I'll just like count it down and then we'll go for it. And what other things should we do in the air? You're gonna breathe and if you can't breathe, just scream. 
Now that was alarming, but what was worse is that I've had to sign a liability for every one of these extreme sports. I've carefully read this agreement and release of liability. That was comforting. I wasn't scared before, I'm a little scared now. 20 minutes to drop and the anticipation was killing me. Only a little nervous. Oh, I feel like I'm just gonna be looking forward to getting out of the plane. I'm gonna get it done. When talking about this whole project, skydiving was the one that made me the most nervous. When it came time, it did help being with Sean and Amy. If I'm gonna jump out of a plane, I want to do it with them. But first, we have to thank the bus driver. Thank you! Thank you! But soon enough, all I could hear was wear up. express that feeling. What's my heart rate right now? 142. <laughs> Holy <laughs> You did awesome, my friend. Jeez, this is a reoccurring uh, segment in the video. <laughs> I'm just very high up. I had no words. How about this? Victory Royale! Let's go! Oh! 27 hours left for this challenge, and we've got to take another flight to a new country. And boy, Auckland really turned the weather on for it. I'm very tired, but that is not okay because we're not just doing one extreme sport today, we're going drifting and off-roading. So it's gonna be quite a hectic day. With six hours left on the clock, we're at Hampton Downs, and I want you to meet Mad Mike. If you aren't familiar with Mad Mike, he is a massive legend in the drift racing scene. He even taught Max Verstappen how to drift. Yes, that Max Verstappen, the F1 Formula champ. This is the shop, man. The mad lab where it all happens. Before we get to the drifting, though, Mike showed me around his mad labs. This is where he concepts all of his latest car builds. He even has a drifting Lamborghini. Now, before we went for a drift, Mike said I had to prove myself on some go-karts. I had a 20-second head start, but there was yeah, five, five laps. laps. And it wasn't long throughout the race where he was hot on my heels. Oh, no. Can you believe it? It was a photo finish. He beat me by half a car length. This time you actually, you're not gonna have any I'm control. not, I'm not wanna control this. You gotta one. hang on for the ride. Yeah, yeah. What kind of speeds are we gonna be hitting today? He's not too fast. We're about 170 max, maybe. So hitting the drift at 170? Yeah. It's pretty fast. Oh, we're coming out. Let's hit it. Let's do it. You got the skid lid now. I do, I do, I do. The skid lid that he was referring to was that after Mike showed me his Red Bull helmets, he showed me my own. Oh no. Talking about helmets. Don't tell me I got one. Oh no way, you're trolling. You get your own one, mate, and that's yours. That's Pete. sick. Oh, you've got the power logo on it. Let's yeah. go. Oh mate, he's good to go. That's sick. Now there's nothing else left to do but roll out in style. <laughs> look at that smoke. You see, those soft compound tires only last two to three laps before they lose their traction. At 700 each for a tire, that amount racks up quick. We almost hit the camera on the car. This camera on the car, by the way, is great for upcoming YouTubers. You can pick them up for $29 on Amazon. So it wouldn't have been a big deal for Berkeley. A lot of fun. Holy. <laughs> that was actually insane. Yeah, boy. You were so close to that camera at the front. No, no, we had it like that. <laughs> I've never like, experienced anything like that. What about you just being with Matty Hall up in the bloody fighter plane? Man. Holy. Sh I know, but like, it's just, it's different on the ground. Now, earlier on, Mike showed me his rumble car, which he described as the most 
badass thing on four wheels. With 30 minutes left on this challenge, we have time for one more extreme sport. And he wasn't wrong. You may have noticed this vehicle doesn't have any windows and that's because it kicks up a lot of mud. Welcome to my world, bro. Oh, I didn't see the mud pile coming or whatever that was. That's why you were scoping out the track. I told you we'd eat it with a, with a splash, not a bang. That is 50 hours of extreme sports with Red Bull. Big thank you to all the Red Bull athletes for this amazing video. And of course, Red Bull for making this all possible. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. <laughs>